Hi everyone, I'm welcome to another car boot haul. This was yesterday's car boot haul. Sorry the video didn't come out yesterday, but it's getting quite hard to film on a Sunday now, so this might be the format in the future that the haul comes out on a Monday or possibly a Tuesday. But I managed to get to a car boot yesterday. I haven't been for a few, good few weeks now because of the weather. It did actually rain when I went to the car boot yesterday. Just showered like three or four times which was really annoying but I still managed to pick up quite a bit of stuff. I went to the one in Wales about half an hour away because I have been for a while so I thought I'd do better going there. I spent £79.70 which is a lot but I didn't pick up that much but there are some higher value items in here. So let's get on and I'll show you the haul. So this is briefly what I've picked up. So I'll start on this side and we'll start with this plush. It's a My Little Pony Builder Bear. I've never had this one before. I'm not sure how much it will get or what the name is. I'll try and find out and put it on the screen. It's got this cutie mark on. It's from 2017. In good condition, needs a wash. There's a couple of marks on it. But that was three pounds, so that's quite good for a pony builder bear. Next, some mugs. These were on the higher side, they were £5 each, but there was a couple of other items I wanted from the guy, so I sort of bundled it all together. Official Disney Parks, Cinderella and Belle. They're quite nice, they've got like a, well you can't tell on camera, but it's like a pearlescent look to them. Hardly used, if at all. So I'm sure they'll get more than £5 plus postage each, maybe twelve ninety nine. But the guy also had these two Star Wars figures. This was quite early on during the car boot and as it was raining a little bit I thought I better pick up what I can. <laughs> so that's why I paid a bit more for some of these items. These two were on a bundle deal. He did both for £15 which yes these are available in game in the sale for £7.98 each. So that's roughly what there are in game. But they looked in good nick and I'm sure we'll be able to sell those eventually for a bit of profit. So on a good day, these are roughly worth about £15 each. I have got quite a few Greedos on already, um, so they'll probably hang around a bit, but they will sell eventually. Then we have some Doctor Who figures. This one unfortunately smells very strongly of cigarette smoke, which obviously I can't really tell at the car boot. <laughs> it was only a pound though, so I'll probably have to auction that one off because uh, I can't really sell it normally. The others are okay. This again was a pound. It's Dalek Sec. Got Mickey. Again, he was a pound. These are all from different people. These two are the same. That was different. Got a Ray from Real Ghostbusters. It's one of these moving ones. He was three pounds, but I do know I can get at least a tenner for him. And then this was 20 pence. It's a Black Series Poe Dameron. I don't actually have this version of Poe. It's quite an early figure. The likeness isn't great on it. It doesn't have his gun, but for 20p, I wasn't leaving that there. I don't know how much it'll get. Maybe around five, six pounds. But I'll put on the screen if it's anything different. A 90s Doctor Who book. Don't see many of these in the wild. This one's called The Fall of Yaquitine. I don't even know which doctor this is. Oh, it's an 8th Doctor novel, so not really one I'd be interested in reading. Uh, but it was only a pound, so I picked it up. I have researched it. It's about four to five pounds. It's not one of the more valuable ones, unfortunately. But for a pound, I was just picking it up because it's a 90s Doctor Who book. This was the first thing I picked up. I picked them up because I was panicking. You always do at the beginning of a car boot, thinking I've driven all this way and not going to pick anything up. <laughs> These are some Power Rangers trading cards. They're like a card game, I think. They were three pounds, which is quite extortionate unless there's some really rare ones in here. I doubt there is. But it's quite, it'd be interesting to see them. I've never seen any of these cards before. So even just to look at and to do a bit of research, it'd be worth the money just to see if there's any value in these cards or not. Then I'll do these next. There was a trader who was selling loads of box stuff, knew quite a lot of electronics, but he did have these figures. I asked him how much he wanted for them. It's like he was trying to get rid of everything. He did mention that he couldn't sell on Amazon or eBay. I don't know if he'd been banned or something, but it looked like he was just literally getting rid of loads of stock. 
But he had these Black Series figures, £4 each, which is brilliant. This is a Flame Trooper Gaming Greats. I never had this because it's a Gaming Greats one. It's not something I would have in my collection. And two of these Imperial Senate Guards. Cool looking figures. They um, sell, on a good day, probably price them around £25 each. That includes postage, obviously all my prices include postage. So yeah, £25 each for those. They might hang around a little bit, so they might end up going for about 20 eventually. And then we have four exactly the same with this Pink Ranger. There's not a lot of these for sale on eBay in the UK, which goes in its favour. Again, £4 each I paid. These again are worth between 20 and 25 with postage. So yeah, brilliant deal on those. I'm not quite sure why he was selling them off, but he obviously just wanted to get rid of stuff. I managed to pick up a lot of top trumps today. These were 50p each. I think this is a Fortnite one. Avengers Infinity War. This one always sells quite well for me. Um, a sealed Harry Potter one. Goblet of Fire. Again, this was 50p. And we have a sealed Harry Potter deck. I wasn't even going to bother picking this one up because of the case and everything, but I can clean that up. But then I opened it and saw they were sealed, so I was definitely picking that up. And then we have some football ones. They were £2.50 for the two. She did the deal on those. And then these three, again, from another stall, 50p each. These Spears ones, they're like comic book characters, I think. I'm not quite sure what they are. But 50 pence, I was taking a chance. Again, these are comic book ones. And the Star Wars one. Again, I haven't checked any of these to see if they're complete or not. Hopefully they are. If not, I'll just bundle them together or something. But 50p each, you always take the chance on Top Trumps. They're always a regular seller for me, especially this time of year, summer holidays, traveling. People want stuff like this for car journeys and things. So yeah, in general, these fetch between four and five pounds each. Sealed one, maybe a little more, but as it's Harry Potter, probably around the £5 mark. Avengers always sell well for me, around the £5, but the others probably around the £4 or so. Board games, I picked up a couple today. We have New Downfall, I've never seen this, but it was in the old MB box game box, so I picked that up. It was £2. It doesn't look like it's been played much inside, so hopefully that's complete. Put on the screen what it's worth. I don't know. I've never sold it, so I don't know how much it's worth. Um, but for two pound, I was taking a chance on it. And then the old favourite Kaplunk. I've literally just sold out of all my sticks and balls, and I picked up like five or six like over the last couple of months, and I've sold them all again. Again, the sticks sell for about five ninety nine. The balls sell again around the four to five pound mark. So yeah, I can get a lot of value out of one Kaplunk, and that was £3, which again is probably the highest I'd ever pay for a Kaplunk. But as I said, I make at least £10 from each game. And then probably the bargains of the day, this early learning centre stuff. Two different stalls and two different bargains. We have this set, it's like fairies, I've sold this before, it's quite a cute set. Um, it's got fairies in it, I don't know if there's any butterflies and stuff. Like, I've never seen that one before. But yeah, it looks really good condition. Lots of little accessories and things. And that was only £2. I'm guessing that'd be worth about 20 maybe. Uh, but yeah, Happy Land, Early Landing Centre always sell really well. And then this was even better value. All this was a pound, which is absolutely crazy. I was quite shocked when he said. I felt almost bad taking it off him for a pound, but he just wanted rid of stuff. Needs a bit of a clean, but it's like a garage, a telephone box, car, a figure, which is good, and a greengrocer with all these vegetables and things. So for a pound, that was incredible. I've now I've sold the telephone before. This one hasn't got a battery pack on the back and I can't test it. So I don't know. I might just have to do it as a job lot. I think I've still got a post office or something that's not sold yet. So I might end up bundling, maybe splitting into two bundles. I don't know. But that should sell very well on its own anyway. 
bundle wise again if I just bundle the whole thing together with something else it might get 20 maybe 25 probably 20 though because it hasn't got figures but I'm sure it will sell well anyway but yeah nice day out at the car boot again shame it was showering quite a lot but still managed to pick up some really good stuff probably my favorite pickup of the day were these figures obviously because that's what I love selling on my eBay shop and the loose figures you don't always see loose figures like that as well so yeah definitely the action figures and a 90s Doctor Who book I've never managed to pick one up before so that was really good to find as well so I've looked at the weather for next Sunday looks appalling again so I don't know if there'll be another haul next week but look out for it on my channel and that again I've got other videos planned unboxings and things in the meantime so stay tuned and other than that guys thanks for watching see you all soon bye